Hope here at Crafty Hope and I am about to work on the Pirate Pretty Jewelry Challenge for June. This is a monthly double color jewelry collaboration challenge from Angela of Pirate Pretty's Jewelry. Y'all, I'm glad that air conditioner just cut off. It, I've been waiting for it to go off so I didn't have to talk over it. Um, whoo! It's a scorcher out there and it did not want to quit. Okay. So this is a collab for Angela Pirate Pretty's Jewelry. I will put links to her below to both her YouTube channel and her Facebook group. That That's kind of how you're going to post if you participate in this. You can either do a jewelry, um, <laughs> you can either do a YouTube video using the hashtag Pirate Pretty's Jewelry Challenge or you can go to the Facebook group and she's got a picture of what she created this month and you'll in the comments can put a picture of what you created this month too. So this is, um, like I said, a double color challenge. So each month there are two colors you need to work with to make one design. You'll also, you get a choice of metals. There's an assigned project type and then an optional fun element. So this month the colors are, are blue and tan. Metal choice is bronze slash brass or silver. Project type is earrings and the fun element is shell. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you I did not work with shell this month. I tried to pull out some, some nice shell beads, but they, with the tan in there, my shell beads were so white and that tan is tan that it made the tan feel dirty and I didn't like that. So no shell. Instead, um, I'm gonna use the blue and tan with some antiqued brass to make some earrings. So this is a pretty, um, I tried to overcomplicate this initially, but then I was like, you know what? When you make jewelry, it doesn't have to be the hardest thing ever. It doesn't have to be the most unique ever. It's just about making something pretty. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I've pulled out some tan and blue beads. So these are my tan beads. Uh, this little melon bead and then this little like crystal bead that's like a creamy tan and then these two beads um i believe all my beads are glass so this is i believe a check glass little blue bead and this one with the fun little like parentheses on it i don't know what else you would call those so we're gonna we're gonna stack these uh some of these up and do the first thing i want to do and this is a fun little trick that i just found so i've got some bead caps these pretty little floral ones that I just love and I'm going to put one of those on one of this large parentheses bead and then another bead cap to kind of sandwich it between the two now you'll see that those bead caps don't cover that completely we will fix that in a minute so the first thing I'm going to do is make a wrapped loop now I'm going to hold my round nose pliers just above that bead cap bend that wire, then slide my round nose pliers up and make a loop like so. Once that loop is formed, I reposition my pliers and then I begin my wrap. Now this one, I'm going to wrap and wrap and wrap. Now if you need more instructions on how to make a wrapped loop, I will have a link up here to my tutorial on how to do that. All right, so I am basically going to wrap this tail until it touches this top bead cap pretty well. All right, so that makes everything kind of tight on here. Now, I can feel on here that these bead caps are not flush on that bead. They stick out a little bit, they, they're kind of prickly, and I didn't care for that. So I have taken a pair of chain nose pliers here and just gone on either side and just kind of squashed those down. And it fixed it. Oh my gosh, y'all. I did not even know. But I like to do this while it's kind of tight on the head pin here so that it's not going to do a whole lot of, of turning and moving. This one is loosened up a bit. So I may have to tighten this down a bit more. So let me get my round nose pliers again. I'm going to take this and continue to try to push that stem around until it's nice and tight and then again I can take this and get that to flatten down and that's exactly what I wanted to do y'all that's something I haven't done before and that worked just what I wanted to do so I'm going to finish pressing this stem around here 
and I find, you know, I try to do it the easy way without all my tools, but it's really not the easy way. Using the tools the way they are intended is the easier way to do this. All right, so I'm going to press that all the way around. I'm going to make sure that my loop is facing the same direction as my bead. Now, if I need to, I can go back again and press this again just to get it exactly how I want it. Okay, so that is going to be our dangle on our earrings. The next thing is to make another wrap loop. I have some antiqued brass wire. This is brass wire from the hardware store that I have darkened and sealed. Again, I'll have a link to that up there, how I do this. But I'm going to make a wrap loop on this wire. So I will bend it, make my loop up and over and around. And before I close that loop, I'm going to go ahead and put it on the loop of that other dangle we just made. So then we will close that loop and just hold it closed while we make our wraps all the way around. Now if it gets too short or if you prefer to use your chain nose pliers, you can. I am going to grab them to finish that wrap as much as I can. I'm trying to stay on camera. I tend to work over my lap y'all so I um, often will find myself pulling it closer and closer <laughs> to me so forgive me for that. All right, so I have that all nice and tight against there. And then I'm going to add another one of these bead caps, but this one's going to be cup up like so. And then we'll have our melon bead. A, oh, my wire is just a squoosh bent there. Melon bead, cup up bead cap. Blue check glass bead, cup up and the little tan crystal. Now I love these colors. They remind me so much of the beach and I think that was Angela's intention when she chose these because to me that's the sand and the water and the sky. It's just perfect summer beachy awesomeness. All right, so now I'm going to finish this. Actually, I'm gonna make sure my wire is nice and straight. So there's no gaps. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna turn this and make a final wrap loop. So I bent it, bringing it up and over and around and under, and then I will make my wrap all the way around. One, two, and three. I like to kind of make sure that's nice and tight in there before I take my flush cutters, trim that, tuck it one last time to get it oh, secure. All right, and so that would be our earring, and all we need to do is add an ear wire. So I have my ear wire here. I'm going to twist it open, slip on this little stack with its dangle, and close it. And I have two super fun. Now these are long. If you don't want them long, you could actually do two different earrings here. But these, I think long earrings are great for summer to give all that movement. And just be pretty and fun because that's what summer is supposed to be about. All right, guys, that is my contribution for the Pirate Pretty's Jewelry Challenge. Make sure you go check out what Angela made. Click that hashtag to see what the other participants have made. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you real quick what July's prompts are just so that you can be prepared. So the colors are going to be hot pink and either light or lime green. So hot pink and green. The metal choices are gunmetal or silver. Project type is going to be a bookmark or a bracelet. And the fun element is an 80s theme or a button. Ooh, if y'all know me, you know which one I'm going to be leaning toward there. <laughs> All right, guys. So, you know, like I said, go check everybody else out. I appreciate you taking the time to watch. If you have any questions, let me know. Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye.